Okay, so in this video, I'll show you how I instantly open any app using Keyboard Maestro, which is a macro automation tool for Mac. So this is what it looks like. If I press my keyboard hotkeys to open specific apps like Brave, then it will bring them to the front. And if there are multiple windows of that application open, then repeating the hotkey will toggle between all of those windows. Now this is much faster than using other ways of opening apps like clicking them on the dock. You know, as a general rule, using your mouse is gonna be slower than using keyboard shortcuts. And it's also faster than searching and opening that app with something like the Spotlight or with Alfred. Now let's take a look at how to create such a macro in Keyboard Maestro. So I have the Keyboard Maestro editor open. I just created a new macro group for demonstration purposes and gonna use the shortcut Command N to create a new macro. And for this demo, we're gonna open the Notes app. So we're gonna add a new hotkey trigger. I like to do Control Option and then some letter as my triggers. So I'm gonna do Control Option N in this case. And then we're gonna add some action. So First up, activate a specific application. We're gonna act, activate the Notes app. And already, if we do our shortcut, it brings the Notes app to the front. However, we can make this even better by adding the toggle functionality. So to do that, we're gonna add an if statement, if all conditions are met. And the statement or the condition is going to be an application condition. So if the notes app is at the front, then we're going to bring a window to the front. And in this case, we're going to change it to the window with the window index of window count, and then open and close parentheses. And otherwise, we're going to open the notes app. So what this does, it says, if notes is at the front, meaning it's already open like this, then pressing the shortcut will cause the next open notes window to come to the front instead. So that would look like this. Notes is already at the front. So pressing the shortcut is going to bring the next available notes app to the front. Otherwise, if notes is not at the front, like now, then pressing it will just open notes in the first place. So if I create a couple notes windows, then now toggling through them can be done using this keyboard shortcut. Now there are a couple of advanced considerations to take into mind when creating some of these macros. So the first is that you want to think about what your hotkeys are. So I like to do control option and then some letter because I can easily press control and option with my pinky and ring finger. And I like to do my most used apps with one of these letters because I can activate them with my left hand. So for instance, Brave, I use pretty often. So I do Control Option X for that. Now, if there are some apps that I don't use as frequently, then maybe I'll use some other letters such as these because in those cases, I would have to use my right hand and take it off the mouse. One additional consideration is that if you're using hotkeys to open your apps, then you don't have a need for the dock anymore to always be present. So you can toggle this setting, automatically hide and show the dock, so that it goes away when you're not using it. But you can still activate it by just scrolling over to that part of the screen. In some of my later videos, I'll show some more advanced considerations and techniques for opening different apps. But for now, this was just a basic intro into how to open apps with Keyboard Maestro. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe for more cool content, and I'll see you next time.